guys, Amy Marietta. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you how to create an aesthetic picnic and teach you what to pack and show you what I pack. Cheers. Cheers, mom, for the money. Should I make this my thumbnail? I think yes. So. Picnic setup. Picnics are all the hype during quarantine because we can't really do much, you know? There's like drive-in movies and then picnics. That's pretty much our options. And you can have a picnic with anyone. You can have a picnic with your best friends, with your significant other, with your family. Just keep the group small because social distancing and it's really important that we do our part as a community. Be safe, don't be dumb. So throughout the video, you're probably gonna hear goats and a lot of creatures like birds. Yeah, I'm in my backyard, so it's just gonna be kind of maybe crazy, maybe not. I know these are so ridiculous, but I got them when I lived in Miami because the ridiculousness of Miami and how like gaudy it was inspired me and I still love these. So I'm missing one, I might've broke it, I don't know. So I'm in my backyard in Southern California and it's really sunny here and really, really hot. So I recommend that you set up your picnic underneath a shaded tree or some type of shade, or you can bring an umbrella. There's really cute umbrellas, you know, whatever you're into, it just depends where you live. Okay, so first I'm gonna go over the beverages because beverages are a really important part of your picnic. Obviously, I started with rosé today. This is, this is rare, but I was in the mood. So I set up the drinks in this tray situation. Voila. <laughs> so first we have kombucha. I love GTS, this is, my, this is my favorite brand, and I always get watermelon or guava or gingerade. Honestly, most of them, but those are my top favorites. And then we always have the koi, le quoi, cause we're hydrated BBs. And then we have the best water, my favorite. It's the most aesthetic and it tastes great. Aquapana, never get Dasani. If you drink Dasani, I do not trust you. Just promise me you will stop drinking Dasani water. Buying water in glass is so much better for the environment than plastic, just saying. Next, we have summer water, which is what I started with. I love summer water. I drink this rosé all the time. The aesthetic is very on point and it tastes great and feels great. Next, we have the portable radio. It's by Musen. It's so cute. I love this thing. It has Bluetooth so you can play music from your phone through here. And it also has this little radio and you can see how cute that is. Love it. Also, check out my nails. Lucy did them. They're for balance. It's my theme this month. Staying balanced. Quarantine, baby. This was just for the vibes. Obviously not necessary, but obviously super cute. An extra basket with flowers. It's just a vibe. This is also not the most important, but this bag, I had it custom made. It's when I went through my Chelsea Handler phase and her like intro whenever she comes on her show is, oh, hello. So this is inspired by Chelsea Handler. I miss her show and I love how politically active she is now. So, Chelsea Handler, this one was for you. Next, we have, obviously, I always bring AM Club to picnics. This is my silk scarf line, ethical and sustainable. I'm not wearing one today because I'm already wearing gingham. I mean, I guess I could wear it, but I already like did my hair and stuff. But anyways, silk scarves are just such a picnic vibe, you know what I mean? So, it just doesn't go with my outfit right now. I can't wear them all. And then we have the mini Instax. I have the big one too, but I couldn't find the big one today. I don't know where it went. <laughs> so we have the mini, but it's aesthetic and super cute. So always bring that, always take photos for the memories and put in a scrapbook or whatever you wanna do. Then moving on to food. So I'll do the cooler food first. I always just bring stuff like this. You can get, you know, pre-made stuff at the grocery store because I'm not a good cook. And my mom reminds me all the time, so. But for picnics, you don't have to be a good cook. You just have to have good taste and know what to bring. So I win at picnics, mom. Pasta salad's always really great. Some type of green salad, some type of pasta salad, always really great. And for picnics, I love bringing dips. These are some of my favorites. This one is the tabbouleh style hummus. I also love the eggplant hummus from Trader Joe's, super good. And then we have this one. It's raw vegan, delicious, creamy garlic by Majestic Garlic. Um, and then this one, this dip is nuts, green onion, really great. So yummy, it's made with almonds. Vegan. Next, we have the berries. I just put them in a little glass thing, so it has cherries, 
blackberries and raspberries. Berries are just always chic for picnics. So I didn't do the best job at preparing for this. I just kind of used what we had and I forgot to go get crackers, but usually I would get crackers for the dips and you know, the little mini carrots and whatever. Also this vegan cheese, Mykonos, this one is the sun-dried tomato garlic. It's so good. So it's a little cheese wheel and you can put it on one of these. I used this on a cutting board. Wood is always a vibe. Green grapes. And then, you know, other fruits like plums, apples, lemons, those types of things. And now I'll move on to the not cooler foods. So the more like dry goods. So then we have the picnic basket, which is one of the most important parts of this whole thing. I love Skinny Pop. And then we have chocolates. These are really great. These are really great. Nugo, Lara bars. They're just really good for the people who get like super hungry. Forks, knives, spoons. Don't use plastic ones, just bring them. Trail mix, this is almonds, cashews, dates, and a ton of other healthy things that are really good. These mason jars are so handy and you can just, it's easy to store it, it's easy to take it and see it all. 10 out of 10 recommend. And this isn't for every picnic because, you know, it depends what you're doing if you're going by yourself somewhere, or maybe go with someone who you guys just both do your own things. Bring a book, just bring any book. Right now I'm reading Big Magic by Elizabeth Gilbert. She's one of my favorite authors ever, and I just read this book whenever I feel like I need some more inspiration. Highly recommend, it's a great quarantine read and just a great life read. Something I'm trying to do lately is spend less time on my phone, which is so hard, but these picnics kind of help. That's why I like bringing the film camera. I like bringing books and I bring my journal, which I have here, my manifesting journal, my whatever the fuck. Okay, Amy. And then to prevent sun damage, <laughs> this I just took from inside, but it doesn't like not go. Sunscreen, you know the drill, water, you know, maybe bring some white claws, maybe some savvy bee, some type of wine if you're not into rosé um or te tequila my other recommendation for girls wear something comfortable you know dresses comfortable dresses rompers jumpsuits shorts skirts whatever you're comfortable in sweats fuck it quarantine is like the age of sweats but it is really hot out maybe a bad idea but you know something comfortable because you're gonna be chilling maybe a bikini so that's it for my picnic recommendations on how to have an aesthetic chic picnic that's great for photos and you know the vibes um, i hope you guys have fun on your picnics thank you for watching and see you next week <sighs> i got too stoned to make this video <sighs> cars <sighs> shut the fuck up dude there's shit in my teeth Marissa just joined me. Look at that rosé. All right, so <laughs> for you too. I was not prepared. <laughs> um. <laughs> Marissa has no further comment. She's too stoned as per usual. Where did that popcorn? Oh. Did you? <laughs> that was stupid. <laughs>